Many of us are familiar with the delightful symptoms of a hangover. Headache, trembling, nausea, fatigue, dehydration, diarrhea. Isn't partying grand? But why exactly do we get hangovers? Dehydration has been widely thought to be the cause, and why not? Alcohol is a diuretic which works by suppressing the neurohypophysial hormone vasopressin. That's in charge of regulating the body's water retention. But the truth is, scientists don't really know why we get hangovers. The causes of hangover symptoms are unknown, but maybe we can blame it on something called acetaldehyde. When we drink, alcohol is broken down in two stages. First, a group of enzymes in the liver breaks down ethanol, that is booze, which then turns into acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is actually a toxic substance in the body, but a second set of enzymes metabolizes it into an acetate or basically vinegar. The problem is that some of us have a buildup of acetaldehyde when drinking in excess, which creates a toxicity in the body that causes a rapid pulse, sweating, flushed skin, nausea, and vomiting. And this totally varies from person to person. Some people have a high tolerance to acetaldehyde toxicity, while others feel like death every time they wet their whistle. There really are people out there who do not get hangovers. Ugh. But if you're feeling sad for yourself after last night's debauchery, take comfort. At least 75% of people will experience a cold, sweaty sense of self-loathing a hangover gives us in the next morning. If you want to know what happens inside your body when you smoke weed, click here. When you smoke a joint, THC passes from the lungs to the bloodstream, where it is eventually picked up by cannabinoid receptors. Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe.